Hi, welcome to our lesson. In this video, we're going to learn on how to read and interpret our electric and water reading. As you can see, I have here an example of a traditional electric and water meter. The unit that you are going to use for electricity is kilowatt hour. And the unit that we are going to use for water is cubic meter. And the way we read the consumption for electricity and the consumption for our water bills is based on the pointer. Kung saan nakatoon yung pointer, babasahin natin yan isa-isa. And i-interpret natin dyan yung kanyang reading. Na kung saan, babasahin natin yun na yung kanyang uh, reading in that particular month. And in this lesson, we're going also to present how to compute the basic computation and a very simple one. Kung paano natin isolve at malaman yung nagiging konsumo natin sa kuryente at nagiging konsumo natin sa tubig. Kung naalala nyo yung inyong mga nakaraang leksyon in mathematics, especially one of the fundamental uh, skills in mathematics is subtraction. So you are going to apply your subtraction, subtraction skill here in, in this lesson. Okay? So the same thing in water meter reading. So you have here the pointer. And we are going to interpret how to read that. Take note. Ang traditional dials ng electricity at ng tubig ay clockwise, counterclockwise. So, hindi siya lahat papunta doon. As you can see, you have there 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, sa pangalawang dial, counterclockwise naman siya. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dito naman, nagsimula siya, clockwise. And then, counterclockwise. Then clockwise. The same thing in water. So you have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then counterclockwise. Pabaliktad na naman siya. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then clockwise. Then counterclockwise. So that is how the meter for electricity and water basically is presented. So that we will know how to read and interpret each dial. And then, ba kayo? Let's go. All right. So we have here how to read and interpret electric, electric and water meter natin. Okay. So let's have an example. So we have here an example of a dials. So, take note, in reading an electric dial, in reading electricity or water consumption, let's begin reading from the right dial going to the left, okay? So, magsimula tayo sa kaliwa, ah, uh, sa, sorry, sa kanan papunta sa kaliwa, okay? So, we have here, ah, uh, dials, five dials. Ito yung traditional na larawan ng ating electric meter or water meter and sa gitna pansin ninyo meron tayong arrow so yan yung basihan paano natin basahin yung ating electric consumption or electric reading okay so for dial number 1 we have there the arrow is pointing 0 so kaya 0 dyan dial number 2 the arrow is directed to 2 so 2 ang ating isulat then, dial 3, we have the arrow is pointing 6. So, 6 ang ating reading. Then, dial 4, the arrow is pointing directly to 2. So, 2 din ang ating isusulat. And for the last dial, number 5 dial, is the arrow pointing to 1. So, 1 din ang ating isusulat dyan. So, for this dial, the reading of our electricity is 1, 2, 6, 2, 0 kilowatt hour. Okay? So, let's have another example. If the pointer is between the two numbers, 
always take the lower number. So, dito, wala tayong nakitang arrow na in between sa dalawang numero. Na nasa gitna ng dalawang numero, di ba? Now, dito sa dalawang example, or pangalawang example, makikita ninyo na may mga arrow na nasa gitna ng dalawang number or nasa pagitan ng dalawang number. Ayan. Okay? So, mag-umpisa tayo from right to left. So, dial 1, we have 0. Dial 2, in between 0 and 9, so isulat natin is 0. And dial 3, in between 7 and 6, so ang isulat natin 6. Bakit nga 6? Kasi always take the lower number. So, ano yung mas mababa sa kanilang dalawa, yun ang iyong isusulat. Now, dial number 4, the arrow is directed to 2, so 2 ang ating isulat. And dial 5, we have 1, okay? So, for this dial, the reading is 1, 2, 6, 0, 0 kilowatt hour, okay? Let's try to have next example. If the pointer falls between 9 and 0, write down 9 and reduce the reading you have already taken from the dial on its, its left by 1. So, kanina, kung mapapansin ninyo, itong dial 2, na between 0 and 9 yung arrow, sinulat natin dyan ang arrow. Napansin nyo yun? Ito, na ya, ito naman si 7 at saka si 6. Yung arrow ay nasa between 7 and 6. So, ang isinulat natin kanina is 6, di ba? Now, applying this rule, okay? Sabi dito, Kapag ka ang arrow ay nasa gitna ng 9 and 0, so ang isusulat natin is 9. Ngunit, yung dial na nasa kaliwa niya, babawasan natin ng isa yung original reading niya. Okay? So, kaya hindi tayo magtaka na bakit naging 5 instead of 6. Okay? So, ano yung original reading kanina dito? ba 6 yan? So, 6 dapat. Okay? So, ulitin natin. Ito rin yung dials na ginamit kanina, sa example kanina, sinundan nito. So, you have 0. Then, in between, second dial, between 0 and 9, we have... Okay, ginaw, ginamit natin yung rule na to. So, pwede daw natin isulat dyan si 9. Provided that, on the left dial, babawasan natin ng isa yung original na reading. Kaya, nagiging 5. So, we take 9 instead of 0. So, we write 9. For the third dial, dapat si 6 ang ating isulat. Pero applying the rule, sabi dito, reduce the reading you have already taken for the dial on its left by 1. So, in business 6, isulat natin si 5. Kasi babawasan na ng isa. Then, as is, 2 and then 1. Okay? So, the reading for this dial is no longer 1, 2, 6, 0, 0. The reading for this dial applying this rule is 1, 2, 5, 9, 0. Nag-gets ba? So, in computing the electric consumption, you must deduct the previous reading to the present reading and write it in kilowatt hour. So, you have KWH. Okay? Deduct daw si previous. Ibig sabihin ng deduct is ibawas natin si previous kay press. Eh, ibawas natin si previous doon sa kay present. Okay? So, pag inayos natin yan, magiging present sa taas minus previous sa baba. Okay? So, yun ibig sabihin, you must deduct the previous reading to the present reading. Okay? So, let's try. We have here some examples on how to read dials. Okay? So, dial number one, ulitin ko, from the right going to the left. Okay? So, let's begin with dial one. The arrow is pointing six. Dial 2, the arrow is pointing between 5 and 6, so it must be 5, okay? Now, dial 3, the arrow is pointing between 8 and 9, so the, uh, the reading must be 8. Then, dial 4, the arrow is pointing 3. And, dial 5, the arrow is pointing between 2 and 3, so the reading must be 2. So, ano ang reading sa dials na ito? We have here 2, 3, 8, 5, 6. So, 2, 3, 8, 5, 6 kilowatt hour. Okay, next example. We have here, first dial, the arrow is pointing, nakalihis pa siya, di ba? Kay 4, 
hindi pa siya insakto talaga nakatuon kay 4. So, nakalihis pa siya ng kaunti. So, that must be 4. Then, second dial, we have between 3 and 4. So, the, the reading must be 3. Third dial is between, the arrow is between 6 and 7. So, the reading must be 6. And the same here for the fourth dial, you have 6. The arrow is between 6 and 7. So, the reading must be 6. And for fifth dial, the arrow is between 1 and 2. So, the reading must be 1. So, in these dials, the reading is we have 1, 6, 6, 3, 4. So, 1, 6, 6, 3, 4 kilowatt hour. Okay? So, tingnan mabuti yung pagkaka uh, plus star ng arrow para hindi makamali. Okay? Now, we have here an example for present and previous reading and how to solve, how to compute our electric consumption. So, we have here present. The arrow for the first dial is pointing to 5. Second dial in between 4 and 5, kaya 4 siya. Third dial is nakalihis pa ng kaunti kay, na, kay 9. Hindi pa talaga kay 9. So, the reading is 8 pa yan. Okay? So, we have here the fourth in between 2 and 3, kaya 2. And then, the fifth is directed kay 0. Okay? So, the present reading is 2, uh, 0, 2, 8, 4, 5. Okay? Now, we have the previous reading. Pag sinabi natin previous, ito yung nakaraang buwan. Okay? Nakaraang buwan. Dili araw. Nakaraang buwan. Kasi monthly ang reading ng kuryente, ba? So, ito yung present. Ito yung ngayong buwan na ito. Itong previous, pag sinabi natin previous, ito yung nakaraang buwan. Sinundan sa present, sa buwan ngayon. Let's say, for example, lagyan natin ng pangalan. Yung present ngayon is June. Yung previous is May. Okay? So, nagsunod yung buwan. Hindi pwedeng present June, tapos yung previous gawin mo February, hindi. Kasi in reality, sa totoong buhay, talagang buwan-buwan naman nagbabasa ng kuryente na konsumo yung ating mga nasa uh, Davao Light, di po ba? So, ibig sabihin, sunod-sunod yung buwan. So, pag, pag May ngayon, yung previous June yun. Kapag dumating na naman tayo sa July, yung July ang present, yung previous yung June, okay? So, let's have the previous reading. The arrow, look at the arrow. It is point, pointing between 2 and 3. So, the answer is 2. You have here second dial. The arrow is between 1 and 2. So, the reading is 1. And the third dial is pointing 4. So, automatic 4. The, sec, the, the fourth dial is pointing 2. Kaya 2 dyan. And then 0 din sa fifth. Kasi directly kay 0. So, for previous reading, we have 0, 2, 4, 1, 2. Okay? Kilowatt hour. Now, paano natin uh, makuha yung konsumo? Just follow the simple um, computation. Sabi kanina is deduct the previous to the present. So, si previous ibabawas natin kay present. So, present reading minus previous reading. So, si present Ito yon 0, 2, 8, 4, 5. Ayan. Minus. Previous reading, you have 0, 2, 4, 1, 2. Ayan. So, applying the simple rule of subtraction. So, you have 5 minus 2 equals 3. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 2 minus 2, 0. And then, bring down 0. So, your consumption for electricity is 00433 kilowatt hour or you can say 433 kilowatt hours ang nakonsumo mo sa buwan na ito. Okay? Let's have another one. Next, we have here previous reading. Dial 1, you have 0. Dial 2, in between 2 and 3. So, ang reading dyan ay 2. Okay? Dial 3, 6. Dial 4 between 2 and 3, so ang reading is 2. And dial 5 is 0. So the reading for the previous month is this one. 0, 2, 6, 2, 0 kilowatt hour. What about the present reading? For the present reading, you have here dial 1 in between 1 and 2. So the reading must be 1. 
Then, second dial, it is directly pointing 5. Third dial, pointing between 8 and 7. So, the reading must be 7. And then, dial 4, it is between 3 and 4. Makita nyo yung arrow. So, the reading must be 3. And then, the last dial, number 5 dial, is the arrow directly pointing 0. So, that is 0. So, the reading for the present month is 0, 3, 7, 5, 1. Okay? So, 0, 3, 7, 5, 1 kilowatt R. So, again, how to solve for your electric consumption? Follow the simple computation, present minus previous. Okay? So, let's have this. Previous, ayusin natin, ilagay natin sa ibaba, which is 0, 2, 6, 2, 0. Then, si present, ilagay natin sa taas, which is 0, 3, 7, 5, 1. Then, we are ready for subtraction. Okay? So, 0, 3, 7, 5, 1 kilowatt hour minus 0, 2, 6, 2, 0 kilowatt hour. The answer is, simple subtraction, you have 1 minus 0 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, 7 minus 6 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, then bring down 0. So, your consumption for electricity this month is 0, 1, 1, 3, 1 kilowatt hour, or you can read it as 1,131 kilowatt hour. Okay, So, next, another example. We have here previous reading. The arrow for dial 1 is pointing in between 1 and 2, so the reading must be 1. Second dial, the arrow is pointing between 5 and 6, so the reading must be 5. Third dial, the arrow is pointing between 7 and 6, so the reading must be 6. And fourth dial, the arrow is pointing between 4 and 5, Nakalihis pa yung arrow, hindi pa talaga yan kay 5, so the reading must be 4. And dial 5, the arrow is directly pointing 0, kaya 0 yan dyan siya. So, previous reading is like this, 0, 4, 6, 5, 1. Okay? So, 0, 4, 6, 5, 1 kilowatt hour. Now, what about the present reading? The present reading is, for dial 1, directly pointing 3. So, 3 ang isulat natin. Dial 2, the arrow is directly pointing 0. So, 0 din yan dyan. While dial 3, the arrow is pointing between 8 and 7. So, the reading must be 7. Then, dial 4, the arrow is pointing between 5 and 6. So, the reading must be 5. And the, la the last dial, dial number 5, the arrow is pointing 0. So, automatic 0 ang ating isulat dyan. So, for present reading, this is our reading now. 0, 5, 7, 0, 3. Okay. So, 0, 5, 7, 0, 3 kilowatt hour. Again, let's compute our electric consumption. Present minus previous. So, ayusin natin ang pagkasulat. It's, ilagay natin si previous sa baba, which is 04651 kilowatt hour. And si present, isulat natin sa taas, which is 05703 kilowatt hour minus. Okay? Applying the rule for subtraction, now take note, meron tayong zero sa taas. So, you are going to apply the rule of subtraction in regrouping. Okay? Huwag mong balik ta rin ang number na 5 minus 0. Hindi yan. I-regroup natin. Ibig sabihin ng regrouping, manghiram ka ng seven, sa 7 ng 1 tenth para madagdagan na si 0. Okay? So, you have here 05703 minus 04651, 3 minus 1, 2. 10. Para maging 10 si 0, manghiram ka ng 1 10 sa 7. So, si 0 naging 10 minus 5 is 5. Si 7 naging 6. So, 6 minus 6 equals 0. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Then, bring down 0. So, your answer is, ayan, 0, 1, 0, 5, 2 kilowatt hour. Ito yung konsomo mo sa kuryente sa buwan ngayon. Okay?
Okay, we have here another example. The two families, um, Santos family and Salandron family. Let's take a look of their electric reading. So the first line of um, the first set of dials above represents the previous reading, while the second lines or the second set of dials below represents the present reading. The same thing with Salandron family. Yung nasa taas is previous, yung mga nakalinya sa baba is present reading. So let's begin with Santos family's previous electric reading. You have there, the first dial is 8, second dial is 5, third dial is red as 4, and fourth dial 7, fifth dial is 3. So the previous reading of Santos family is 3, 7, 4, 5, 8. Okay, so you have here, right? Now let's proceed to their present reading. So we have here dial 1, that is 5. Dial 2, you have there 3. Dial 3, you have 8. And dial 4, hindi pa yan nakatuon kay 8, so that is 7. And dial 3, ayan, diretsahan talaga kay 3. So the reading for the present month of Santos family is 3, 7, 8, 3, 5. So, ito yun, 3, 7, 8, 3, 5. Now, tandaan, you have present minus previous. In your um, scratch paper or scratch notebook, you can arrange your numbers. Si present sa taas, si previous sa baba. Write the numbers in column para hindi kayo malito. Okay? Kagaya ng ipinakita natin kanina. So, present minus previous. You have 37835 minus 37458 kilowatt hour. The consumption of Santos family is 377 kilowatt hours or 377 kilowatt hours. You can use your calculator to make it sure. Okay? So, let's proceed to Salandron family. For Salandron family, you have there 0. This is 8. 9 yan ha, pero hindi pa yan nakatukma kay, na, kay 9. You have here 6. And this must be 4. And this is 3. Okay? So, the previous reading for Salandron family is 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. Alright? Next, what is the present reading of Salandron's family? You have there. Tingnan mabuti yung arrow at ang number. You have 3. You have 6, then you have 0, then you have 1, and then you have 4. So the reading is 4, 1, 0, 6, 3. Okay? So present minus previous, 4, 1, 0, 6, 3, minus 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. The, uh, the answer is 6,384 kilowatt hour electricity electricity consumption of Salandron's family. Now, let's try to answer some questions. Question number one. Which household consume the most? Pag sinabing the most, alin dyan ang malaking um, nagamit na kuryente? So, tingnan natin kay Salandron, tingnan naman natin kay Santos. So, what what do you think? What fa which, which family? Of course, Salandron family consume the most of electricity. Kasi 6,000 yun. Samantala kay Santos is 377 lang. Okay? Question number two. Which household consume the least? Pag sabing least, maliit, kakaunti. So, between the two, it's obvious. Santos got the least consumption of electricity. So, the answer is Santos family. Okay, so let's try another. Let's proceed to how to read and interpret water meter. Okay. We have here an example. A five dial meters for water. So you have there the first dial. The same rule. You apply the same rule. So reading a dial from right going to the left. Okay. And then reading 
the numbers inside the dials according to the placement of the arrow. Applying the same rule, if it is in between two numbers, you take the lower number. Okay, so this one is 6. Second dial, this is 5. Third dial, this is 2. Fourth dial is 3. And fifth dial, 7. So the reading of this dial is 7, 3, 2, 5, 6. Now take note, dial A, the pointer is between 8. Ito na yun. Na-explain na natin yun kanina, di ba? Okay, so tandaang mabuti, tingnan mabuti ang um, placement ng dials kung saan siya, then take the smaller number. Okay, so let's proceed. Next, read the dials from right to left. So ito yung sinabi ko kanina, in reading a dial, you have to begin it from the right going to your left. So, this must be the first, the second, the third, fourth, and fifth, and so on. Okay, so for this example, we have here the dial. Nakalihis kay 7, so in between yan siya, kay 8 and 7, so the reading is 7. And we have there, between 1 and 0, so the reading is 0. We have here 6, and between 3 and 4, so you have 3. And for the fifth dial, you have there between 5 and 6, so the reading is 5. So, for this example, the reading is 5, 3, 6, 0, 7. Dahil tubig na ito, consumption ng water natin, hindi na tayo gagamit ng kilowatt hour. We use cubic. Okay? Usually, cubic meter. Next example, you have here from the right, this is between, the arrow is between 6 and 5, so the reading must be 5, okay? Second arrow, arrow is pointing to 4, so the reading is 4. Third dial, the arrow is pointing between 2 and 3, so the reading must be the lower, okay? Take 2, okay? So take number 2, so you have that the answer is 2. Dial number 4, the, re that the arrow is pointing between, is placed between 5 and 6, so take 5, okay? Then, dial number 5, the arrow is in between 8 and 7, so the reading must be 7. So, for this example, the reading of this dial is 75245 cubic, okay? So, or 75,245 cubic. Now, let's proceed. We have here house A, and for house A, the first sets of dial represents the previous one, just like the electricity. Kung paano mo binasa yung electricity, ganun din yung sa tubig. The second line or the second set of dials represents the present reading. Okay, So, for the, the first or the previous reading is we have here 5, we have 9, we have 8, we have 4, and we have 8. That is the previous reading. For the present reading, we have here 4, 7, you have 1, you have 6, and you have, okay, in between 8 and 9, so you have 8. So, the present reading is 8, 6, 1, 7, 4, okay? Applying the same rule, present minus previous present minus previous okay so this is now present eight six one seven four minus previous eight four eight nine five so since four is smaller than five so you are going to apply the rule of subtraction and regrouping subtraction with regrouping so you have there four Mas maliit kay 5 and 1 mas maliit kay 8, di ba? So, you have there to regroup. Manghiram ka sa kaliwa nila para lalaki sila. So, what is the answer? 8, 86,174 minus 84,895. The answer is 1,279 cubic meter. Pansinin mo, dito meron tayong 3 sa taas. Exponent ng M that represents the Unit use for water. Kasi hindi naman natin nasusukat ang tubig. Hindi natin mm, natitimbang ang tubig. 
uh, hindi natin pwedeng ano, uh, ang unit of measurement na gagamitin natin sa mga ganyan sa tubig is only per cubic. Okay? So, kaya, huwag kayong magtaka dyan. Yung region represents the unit cubic. Okay? Or cube. Next example, we have here house B. The reading for house B, we have here 2, 7, 9. In between yan sila. And then we have here in between applying the rule, that is 3. Then we have 4. So you have 4, 3, 9, 7, 2. 4. Previous reading. For the second reading, you have here, or the present reading, you have here 4. In between 7 and 8, you have 7. This one in between 1 and 2, so you have 1. And this is 5, okay? This one is in between 5 and 4, so you have 4. So for the present reading, you have here 4, 5, 1, 7, 4 cubic, okay? Now, let's solve. Applying the rule, present minus previous. So, present 4, 1, 5, 1, 7, 4 minus previous 4, 3, 9, 7, 2. The answer is 0, 1, 2, 0, 2 cubic meter. Okay? So, 1,202 cubic meter ang konsumo ng house B sa kanilang tubig. Okay? Now, let's try to answer some questions. Question number one. How many cubic meter of water was consumed by house A? Where is house A? Ito. House A, ang nakonsumo daw is 1,279 cubic meter. So, the answer for question number one is 1,279 cubic meter. Question number two. You have there, how many cubic meter was consumed by house B? Where is house B? We have here house B. And then we compute the consumption of water for house B. The answer is 1,202 cubic meter. So the answer for number two question is 1,202 cubic meter for house B's consumption. Question number three. Which of the two houses consume the least? Ano ulit yung least? Maliit. Mas maliit, di ba? So, ano gagawin mo ngayon? You are going to compare the consumption of water of the two houses. So, for house A, 1,279. For house B, 1,202. Which do you think is the least? Of course, house B has the least consumption of water. Kasi 1,202. Samantala ito, 1,279. Okay, take note of that. Number four, question. Which house consumed the most? Okay, which house consumed the most? So the house that has the biggest consumption of water is, nasagot na natin tong list. So ang naiwan na lang is house A. So the house that consumed the most of water is House A, which has a consumption of 1,279 cubic meter. Ayan. So, now you know how to answer, how to compute, how to read, and how to interpret electricity and water bills. I hope that you will be able now to know and perhaps... You will be able to, you can now read your actual reading and bills in your houses for your electricity and water. Pagdating ng bill ninyo, alam mo na kung uh, paano basahin yun. Kasi ito, napag-aral na. Okay? So, tandaan, for electric and water consumption, you have to subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So, ayusin natin ang pagkasulat. Write the numbers in column. 
Then, you have their present minus previous. Ito lang talaga ang tandaan natin para hindi tayo mawala sa ating uh, solution, sa ating pag-compute. Tandaan si present minus previous. Okay? So, write down the numbers in column. And then, kapag ka may maliit na number sa itaas, apply the rule in subtraction, uh, the rule on subtraction with regrouping. Pag sinabi natin subtraction with regrouping, manghiram ka ng 110 sa katabi niyang nasa kaliwa para lalaki yung numbers na nasa itaas. Huwag mong balik ta rin. Yun yung sakit ng mga kabataan. Ano po? So, huwag balik ta rin yung number. Yung malaki na sa ibaba, ililipat nila sa taas na hindi dapat. So, regrouping. Apply the rules in regrouping. Okay ba? So, I hope you will be able to learn and follow this simple video instruction to answer your modules regarding how to read and interpret our electric and water meters. Okay? So, bye-bye. Till next time. And God bless.